the next mission object for the Dinosaur World Rescue Challenge that we're going to assemble is the Volcano Debris Arm, which has about 50 pieces or so. And then this is actually the debris. So, instead of messing a whole lot of things up, we're going to move things forward this time and start with your debris. Notice that this rim is deep and shallow. And for the assembly, make sure you assemble them with the shallow side up. All right, take the two rims, take the two four M rods, take two, the two by two plates, and we're gonna take two half bushings. And now we're gonna put them together. Take your rod, stick it through your blue plate, put it in the middle of the rim, and notice how it comes through the other side. Take your bushing, put your gray bushing in there, and push the rod either in or out such that the bushing and the rod are flush or flat in the middle. And so when you look at the other side, the rod sticks out roughly a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And the blue plate is against the rim so that this is tight together. Now we'll assemble the other one. Take the rod, insert it into the plate, let it stick through. Stick it into the rim, take your half gray bushing, push it in, make sure it's flush, make sure the blue is tight, and it sticks out. These two objects are finished, and we'll set them to the side. Next, I'll name off the pieces for you. We'll start here on the right. You've got a two 3M axles with a stopper. You have one three and a half M axle with a stopper. It's a cream in color. You have one three M axle that is gray. You have two two M pegs that are blue with a cross. You have one cream colored 3M peg, you have one 3x7 black plate, two 3x5 half plates, you have one 15, 15M beam, you have one 45 90 degree angle beam, one 45 degree angle gray beam, two 2x4 two black L beams. You have one green 7M beam, one gray 7M beam, three black 3M beams, two black 2M beams, one with a hole, one with a cross. You have what is referred to as the eyeglass. Kind of looks like an eyeglass two holes with the rims and the ear guards there. You've got a 3M beam with two holes and a cross hole on the side. You've got one green 2M beam with a hole and a cross on the side. You have, oh, let me grab these other pieces. You've got two green 1M beams, you've got one gray 1M beam, three black 1M beams, you've got 11 blue 3M pegs, you've got five, I'm sorry, six um, 2M black pegs, and one 3M green beam with a bushing on the end. So let's start the process. Take your 15M beam, 
Pick your green 3M peg. Count from the left. One, two, three, four. Put the peg in there just like that. Now we're going to grab three blue pegs and one black peg and one green and one MB. So let's put these together. Notice the configuration. All right. Put the peg in from the bottom, peg in from the bottom. Peg in from the bottom, black peg in from the bottom. So it looks like that. Take the 1M green beam, stick it on there. And that's the arm, and we're gonna set it to the side, and now we're gonna assemble the base. Take the three by seven plate, put it in front of you, grab two black pegs, two 3M blue pegs and let's take the blue peg on your right side put that peg on your left that peg take your black on your right and on your left notice how it looks all right we're going to set this to the side right here take your Two seven M beams. We want to take three and three, and we're going to put these together as such. One peg on the very end, second peg on the other end, and then let's put one right there. Notice. Now you have the peg sticking out on both ends of the beam. Let's do it to the other beam now. Same way. One on the left end, one on the right end, and one like that. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna put the one end beam, one end beam, Actually, I want to make sure you understand this. The when you put these in, these pegs may get moved up and down. So let's put this one end beam here on the bottom so that if you have to push it, it pushes it down. Let's do it with the same on this one. It can be pushed out. like that. Now let's grab two 3M beams and we're going to push put them on the other end just like that. Just like that. All right. So let's grab our base. And we're going to put it here like this. And color does matter because the mat will show you how to do it by color. So we're going to attach the gray one closest to you and the green one furthest from you. So let's start with the green one. In this configuration, push it down on the pegs. You take the gray one and do the same thing. Push it down on the peg. All right, so then it looks this way when you're finished assembling these pieces. Okay, we're gonna turn it to the side. Next thing we're gonna grab are your 2M black with the cross hole and your 3M brown axles with the stop. Take the axle, stick it through so that the stop is against the two end beams. Take the second one and do the same thing. Oh. All 
right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and take the hole for the peg with the blue peg here and stick it on. Notice how when you stick these two in beams on, the stopper of the axle actually fits down inside of the 7M beam that was assembled previously. All right, now let's take, where'd he go? Hmm, let's take the gray and the black. I think that's what I want. And we're gonna put the gray one in beam on the axle, the black on the axle, just like that. Next, we're going to grab the three by five half plate. We have two of them. Attach them on the axles in this configuration. One on top of the other, all right? Next, we're gonna take two of the two M black pegs and the three M gray beam. Take your peg, stick it in the middle hole, stick it in the one to the far left, just like that, so that it would look like this. All right, now take your 3M beam and attach it to your two pegs so that it looks like that. Next, we're going to take the gray 3M axle and one of the 2x4 black L-beams. Take your axle and stick it through the 3M beam at the cross hole. So it looks like that. Take your 2x4 black and attach it so that it looks like that. Next, we're going to take your 3M peg that is cream and your 45 degree angle beam. Take and put the peg in the 2x4 L beam and it can't be pushed through right so see how it looks and now we're going to take the 45 degree angle beam and stick it on there see how it moves the cream beam is frictionless compared to the black or the blue ones so it actually lets the lego move let's take our other 2x4 L beam and we'll just lock that in place just like that. The next we're going to do is our two blue 2M pegs with the cross and our 4590 beam. Alright, so on the left side of a 45 degree take your cross peg and stick it in there so it looks like that next take your 4590 and make sure it's in this configuration and take your other blue peg and stick it at the very end in the cross like that now let's assemble these two and I'll make it easier for you to see so you see the peg and the peg. We're going to stick the two pegs into the opposite beam. It can be difficult, but see how they are put together? And this is your lever to help activate your arm. Okay, so let's turn it this way. Now you want to take your 3M 
can be, three or three and a half. And you're gonna take your eyeglass. Take the eyeglass and stick the axle in there. And now stick it on the end of the 45 degree angle beam, just like that. Right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 2M beam with the cross and we're going to stick it on there like that. So that's, the, that's how it should look. Now remember the arm we made first off? There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, notice we've got three holes. The green one and then two black. Notice we have four pegs. We're going to take and attach just like that. So the black peg you no longer see, but you still see the three blue pegs. Take your 3M black bean and attach it like that and now your arm is complete. Let's assemble the volcano debris to your arm. So when you assemble it, you're going to take your first piece of debris and you're going to place it at the very end. Well, let's do it a little different way. So you've got Hole number one, two, three, four with the green peg, five, six, seven. At hole number seven, we're going to take and put our first piece of debris. And it'll sit right there. And our second piece of debris will sit in hole number one. So that is it finished. The debris is on this arm and the activation portion is on this arm. Now, the last thing you have to be aware of, dual lock will be placed on the bottom of this plate and on the beams that are against the surface. So this 3M beams, the 1M beams, and the plate should all have dual lock fastened to your mat so that you can have your robot activate the arm like such. And that's it. If you do have any questions, contact Doug at RCX.